guys. It is Saturday, January 7th. It is cold and rainy here in Texas. I look so pale right now, my goodness. Anyways, I've actually been up, hold on. I've actually been up since about six o'clock this morning and I went and ran some errands because I actually had one of my subscribers message me. Her name is Nicole Shoke. I hope I'm saying your last name right. But she did message me and tell me that she sent me a package to my P.O. box. And so I went there really early this morning. And when I got there, there was no package in there. And I was like, well, this is strange. Because it was supposed to be delivered earlier this week. So I thought, oh, it's definitely going to be there by now. But no, it wasn't. And so then I went grocery shopping and then came home, put the groceries away and kind of cleaned the house a little bit. And then I was like, I really wonder if I should just call the post office and see if maybe it's a large package and like didn't fit in my P.O. box. But I went online and it said that it was sorted and actually put into my P.O. box this morning at 8 and I was there at like 6.30. So now I get to drive back over there. But that's totally fine because I have a couple of things I need to do anyways and I'm so excited to see what is in this package. just got it they hadn't even put it in the box yet they must be really behind on their packages I know it was the holidays but I'm like it's a week after Christmas guys come on oh this looks like it's gonna be so cute oh my goodness <laughs> this is too good oh my gosh Nicole you are the sweetest she sent me the Christmas monkey if you guys watch my vlogmas where I read my childhood stories, I read you The Christmas Monkey, which was my family's favorite childhood story that I wrote. So she actually sent me a Christmas monkey and then she sent me this little book that says The Christmas Monkey's Tall Tale. This is so, it's actually like a little story that she wrote in here. <laughs> and she even drew a picture. That's actually really good. I cannot draw. I cannot draw at all. Oh my gosh. That is so, this is too good. This is too good. This really means a lot. What is this? Oh my gosh, Nicole. I don't even know. This is so sweet. Look at how pretty this is wrapped. I don't even want to open it. Oh my gosh. How pretty is that? <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. This is so pretty. Is it an ornament? Hold on, I feel like I need to read the note. So this is a light catcher. I'm guessing, Nicole, that you made this. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. This literally just made my day getting your tale about the Christmas monkey because he doesn't have a tail, so she actually wrote a tail, get it? For the Christmas monkey and then sent me this and also this light catcher which is so beautiful. I'm hanging this in my office year round. I love the symbolism behind it. I would read the card but I think it might be kind of personal so again I don't want to read something in case the person who sent it doesn't really want me to read it out loud to everyone. But Nicole, thank you so so much. I I don't even know what to say. This is all so incredible and your notes made my day. This whole thing just made my day and I just want to say thank you. I am just overwhelmed with happiness and I just feel really loved. So thank you. So there it is. I just hung it up on my window and it's so, so pretty. Nicole, I just want to say thank you again. That was such a heartfelt and well thought out present. I don't think I've ever received something that I truly will cherish as much as your gift. Just the fact that you took the time to actually write a story inspired by my childhood story, The Christmas Monkey, is just beyond words. I was trying not to get too like teary-eyed and stuff in the car, but after I turned the camera off, I got really emotional, so it's probably good that I turned the camera off at that time. But I do really just wanna say thank you 
that really does mean a lot especially because I had a strange encounter earlier today that kind of soured my day but getting this and reading your notes just really turned my whole day around it really made my day so thank you from the bottom of my heart that was just so nice and I just want to say thank you and now the Christmas monkey and I have some editing to do for restitution <music> So this morning I'm making Kodiak cakes, power cakes, protein packed, buttermilk, flapjack, and waffle mix. And this is what it looks like. This is with one cup of the mix, one cup of milk, and one egg. All right, and for just half a cup, we get 190 calories, two grams of fat, only 30 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of protein, but with the milk and the egg, it adds a lot more protein than that, so yay. Actually on these waffles, I have not been putting any butter on it, but just this organic madhava maple cinnamon agave pancake syrup because it's sweet enough and it is honestly delicious. So I'm gonna have this and that will be my breakfast along with my No Pulp Trop 50 orange juice. Alrighty, so I washed my face and took my contacts out. My hair looks ridiculous right now after my workout because I just felt really gross so threw my glasses back on i really need to dye my hair because it's kind of getting to be this ugly like faded color and i like when it's like a really vibrant red so i think i'm gonna do that also need to edit some of restitution and i need to get this sorted out because i look I just look really ratchet right now. Even though it's only a little bit past noon, I went ahead and ordered some Olive Garden that I'm going to pick up that we're going to heat up for dinner tonight because we've been good, really good all week in terms of food and I just really want some pasta. I did want to show you guys something that I worked on last night and actually this is it. I made it my background. Let me open this up though. But I actually created my vision board for 2017 last night and I did post a picture of this on Instagram I had a few people ask me how I did it and really I just find pictures on Pinterest and save them to my desktop and then I go on to pickmonkey.com and I'll just take all the pictures and upload them and then you know crop them and turn them every which way to sort of make a collage so I'm really loving the way that it turned out, I went ahead and printed it and I put it up in my office, but I do think I'm going to print it in a larger size and get a bigger frame for it and actually hang it up in my office. So that is my 2017 vision board. So as you can tell, my hair is not done. I was going to shower and dye it and all that good stuff, but actually last night it was so cold here that we were nervous the pipes were gonna freeze. So we ran some of the water you know, for some of our faucets and the pipes were fine for the most part, because the water's still running, it's just the water pressure that's really, really bad. So I turned the water on and I was like, I don't wanna get all that hair dye and gunk in my hair and then not have good water pressure to actually get it all out. So I think I'm going to wait until the water pressure comes back. Hopefully that'll be later today, it might be tomorrow. I don't really know, but that's why my hair currently looks like this. Smart. It says it's 49 degrees in the garage, but I'm pretty sure it's like 30 degrees outside. It is so cold. That's why, again, I'm wearing this vest to kind of keep me warm and then this coat because this coat's also really warm. But it is so cold here. Did a little bit of damage, but I had a gift card, so I'm good with it. It is still 39 degrees outside. It is so cold. I'm heading to Olive Garden now to pick up our food for dinner. I got the goods. Yes. Just wanna let you guys know that I do have a stand on my dash, on the dash of my car for my camera, so I don't like to vlog and drive, but that's why I do have this stand because I'm still paying attention to the road and I'm just talking in my car. Just like if I were singing a song or doing something like that. But I'm actually going to stop at Starbucks and get an iced green tea because that just sounds so good. And I'm heading home right now, 
and I need riding fuel. And I think a green tea is going to be my best bet for riding fuel. So that is where we're headed right now. The sun is blinding. Oh, well, you're all still turning. Wow, that's really something. Ugh, those are so dark. So real quick, I do want to talk about my current writing and editing schedule. I'm trying to write as much as I can on my lunch breaks at work and then after work and then as much as I possibly can on the weekends. But I'm currently kind of in an editing phase, not as much of a writing phase. But in terms of editing restitution, I'm trying to edit three chapters a day. And if I can do more than that, that's wonderful. And I'm already pretty far into it. I think right now restitution has 45 chapters and I have edited to chapter 30. So I'm doing really good, I'm on my way. I know I will have just kind of this whole thing edited up until what I've written, probably by January 15th. And then that way I'll have just a refreshed state of mind and I'll remember everything that I wrote so I can fully write the ending and have it be good. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Hi there, can I get a grande iced green tea with half the sweetener? Anything else for you today? That's it. Alrighty, your total is two sixty-five. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi there. Sorry. <laughs> and here's your drink. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. So I'm home now, pretty much already had this entire thing on my drive home. As you guys saw earlier, I got pretty distracted <laughs> when I was starting to edit or just jot down ideas for restitution because Lacey hopped up onto my desk and she just wanted to hang out with me. And I got a little bit distracted. So I didn't get that much done this morning, but now that I've had this tea, I feel like I'm ready to do some real editing. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. quite productive. I edited five chapters and I actually was a little bit ahead. I know in the car when I was in line for Starbucks I mentioned that I was around chapter 30 but I was actually at chapter 33 for editing and I have 45 chapters written so I was able to edit five so that puts me at chapter 38 so I'm really close to being done with editing this. I think I can probably pull off doing the remaining chapters tomorrow, which is Sunday. So I think I can get that finished and then that way I can really start to use the next week and the rest of January to really write the ending and make it exactly what I want it to be and then start editing on February 1st and really go through another full edit and make sure it's exactly how I want it to be. And then March will be another read through and another edit, you know, through mid-March. And then I'll start formatting near the end of March because it comes out on April 4th. So very very fast little timeline here but i am really excited for this final book this one was really fun for me to write and as much as i love this alpha drive series it's something i've been working on for such a long time and it's very hard to say goodbye to my characters but after writing the first book in my dark fantasy series and finishing that last november i'm really excited for that new series and those books so i'm really excited to wrap up the alpha drive even though it will be sad but i am happy to 
you know, to get this completely finished. And that way I can have my full attention be on my dark fantasy series because that's going to be incredibly intricate with lots of twists and turns, lots of characters. Yeah, I'm just excited overall. This was a really good editing day. And who knows, maybe a little bit later on tonight, I'll get the urge to edit a couple more chapters and get all the way to chapter 40. I know I've talked about this a lot in previous vlogs and just some of my other videos, but getting started as a writer is the hardest part. And it can be very challenging whether you're writing or outlining or editing. It can be really hard to just sit down and start doing it. And I find sometimes I'm like, well, I have all these other things that I need to do. I need to clean the house. I need to do laundry and I need to run to the store and I need to do this. I should get a workout in before I sit down and do it. And instead of thinking of all the things that you should be doing rather than writing, editing, or outlining, you really just need to sit down and write. And I did talk about the 10 minute rule in one of my vlogs and it's so true because once you actually sit down and start doing something for 10 minutes, you'll find that it's really hard to break yourself away from it because you get really into it and you wanna keep going, you wanna see where your story's gonna go, how your characters are progressing, and you'll just want to keep building on it. Not every day is going to be a great writing day. There may be some days where you don't get many words in or some days where you don't get as much editing in as you want to, but even so, you won't know if it's going to be a good day unless you sit down and start doing it. So if you're in a place right now where you're kind of struggling to write or edit or outline or to just get started, then my advice to you is to just go into your office or a quiet space, fire up your laptop, open a Word document or your current work in progress, and just sit there and start reading it. And I guarantee you once you start reading it, you'll start fixing things, especially if you're in the editing phase, or you'll think of some idea or some concept that you wanna add into your book, whether it's a plot twist or a new character or something like that. So my advice is to just sit down and get started because that really is the hardest part. But once you start, it's really hard to stop. Oh, and my author life pillow came in and I'm obsessed with it. It turned out so, so good. I'm gonna replace pillow I have on my chair with this author life one, but I love it so much. I also ordered the mug, it's just not here yet but I am so happy with how the pillow turned out. Don't forget I did open a Society6 store. It is linked in the description box below if you wanna go check it out and buy yourself some hashtag author life goodies. glass of lemon water that you guys just saw me make it's just a really good way to detoxify and just get all you know everything you ate and all that out of your body before you go to sleep and then your body can work its magic while you're asleep and when you wake up so i love drinking lemon water right before bed i am going to close out this vlog here because i'm pretty sure it's going to be really long if i keep going but it's about 8 30 at night i am in my office and i am going to get some editing in. I think I'm going to try to edit one or two more chapters and then call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!